I I just received three pictures from Madison. Okay, a picture of like I don't even know. Like you look like you're like going to like a fucking art gallery. It looks gorgeous. And then a picture of her ass. It's unfucking believable. Madison. Wow. Like we love it. We're we're dying over here. It was worth it. It was worth it. Everything you've been doing is worth it. So yeah, I it think is. this is excellent. I think this is the life you want to live. This is why, like, it should not be judged. I We're not condoning, yet we're not shaming. We just think that if this is the life that you want, like, go for it. Like, who is anybody to tell you no when all of us are over here being idiots? Like, I'm I'm doing all of this for free. <laughs> speak, speaking of, do your friends and family know that you're a, ba- a sugar baby? Yes, they do. Um, all of my friends know. They they reap some of the benefits too. I mean, they they come on vacation with me. And of stuff. course. You know, my family. Uh, they know my sugar daddy very well. They actually have a relationship with him too. Like he comes over for family parties and through my uh, stepdaddy's his uh, 60th birthday. Party. No, <laughs> I don't even have words. Like that's so awesome for you. So it's not weird, and it doesn't have to be. No, it doesn't have to be weird, but like I said, I'm not lucky. Like, I'm not like an escort. However, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. And, you know, if that was more common in our area, it's not something I feel forced to do. Right, right, right. So I guess it makes sense. So, like, the family and friends can't really complain if they're taking advantage of it, too. Her mom is getting flown out to L.A. for Botox. I think we're good. Yeah. I think the mom is approving. Yeah. Oh, my mom loves him. My mom wants him to marry him. But I don't know if that's something that he wants. Like, I bring it up. Is, do you think that's an option for him? Like, okay, if he if he proposed, first of all, your rock would be like eight carrots. Uh, would you be down to marry him? And would he be down to marry you? Or is it more of like a um, like a friend relationship? Um, I think that, you know, he does say things about marriage to me. However, I don't know how I to, I personally feel that if you wanted to marry me, you would have asked Mary. But you know what? I'm in a great situation and you know what they say, if it's not broke, don't fix it. So I don't um I don't mind if things stay the way they are forever. So wait, it's it's kind of like an online dating thing situation. Do you have to be careful like who you meet? Are there sugar daddies out there? What I've heard from um people who have written in is that there's a few websites that people will say they're sugar daddies and sugar mamas, and they'll be like, send me your bank account info so I can transfer, and then hack your whole bank account and take it, and they're not sugar yeah, daddies. Yeah, do sugar babies have to be careful in this yeah. world? Oh, definitely. No matter what you do in this world, you have to be careful. That's definitely 100% true. However, here's the thing. At the end of the day, if I want a sugar daddy to give me money or if I want something, I have this credit card. He could bet him on me. He doesn't have to have my bank account. Oh, you guys have to be aware of that. That is that is out there. Unfortunately, anything to do. True. Awesome. Do you um, do you get like an allowance from from him like weekly, or is it really just you have his card and and it's kind of that's it? Actually, I'm glad that I don't have an allowance, um, uh, because I would blow through it. You know, whether it was three thousand or thirty thousand, um, yeah. I just I have his card, and I um, I, I just as I go, I get what I want. You know, and or. I, mean, I try not to abuse it too much because I know like the kind of what he has. And you're respectful of the allowance at the same can, time you're using him for what he can wants you, you to give use me, him like, for. Like a guesstimate of what you're spending a month on his card. Oh yeah, let's find out a monthly. Well, he got upset with me the other day. I, mean, I spent close to a million dollars last year. He told me. Goodbye. <laughs> 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 I was thinking you were gonna say ten thousand, eleven thousand, a million dollars. Oh, my ass cost eighty thousand dollars. Your ass cost eighty thousand. Yeah, that's the thing with these doctors out on the West Coast. They're very expensive. Holy, oh, Tracy, where's the bottle? Get the bottle. Holy shit, I'm I'm about to go fucking bottle to the face right bottle now. To Wait, the face. eighty thousand dollars? I've seen girls like that I know from the Bronx who've got it for six grand. You're paying eighty grand. Yeah, I gotta go to the doctor. I have to see the surgeon. Okay, wait, you do. <laughs> Yes. Holy shit. Okay. Get that wait. $7.99 bottle of wine over Yeah, here. I'm going to get that um, Walmart bottle of wine. Hold on. Um, <laughs> oh, I drink Smirnoff. It's fine. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, so, and you got a butt surgery twice, you said, right? Uh-huh. Why? You didn't like it? You didn't like it the first time? Um, you know, that's another thing, too, with all this stuff. It gets kind of addicting, and uh, I don't know, what can I say? Go big or go home. I, <laughs> I just, I, I don't know, I went into the office to get... I think routine Botox and I left with another book. Wow. Dude. I don't even know. Like, I'm sitting here flabbergasted is the word I would use. I'm by the not dictionary. a jealous person. I'm so jealous. Right I'm now. just, I'm just, <laughs> I'm jealous at the fact 
that you're like, I spent a million dollars and he yelled at me, but like the, you got a slap on the wrist for <laughs> yeah. spending a million dollars last year. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, but I will say it's not for everybody. You know, you have to have quick skin at the end of the day because some people, it does wear on you, like the procedures, this, that. And some people want more of the security. Some people want a family, want a husband. And that's not always what you're going to get in this situation. So you do have to be prepared. Yeah, you know? absolutely. So you're saying sometimes babies fall in love with their daddies? Um, yes. And the other problem is, too, their lifestyle is very addicting. You know, some people end up never, never settling down. It goes to their head. I mean, like I said, if I were to meet someone to fall in love tomorrow, um, maybe I would give it up. But I, I don't see that very likely in the future. Okay, so a question. If you met this amazing guy and... You- you told, and he was like, I, I'm obsessed with you. I like, I want, I see you're my soulmate. I want to marry you. Like, let's get engaged. And then you were like, okay, but I have a sugar daddy who I'm not willing to give up. Would you pass up the, like the fairy tale romance to keep your sugar daddy? Yes. Wow. Yeah. And let me tell you why, at the end of the day, through all the bullshit, all the bad guys are being the people, like the losers in the past before I started doing this. Cause I went through a lot of like tough times with guys. Um, you know, uh, he's always stepped by me, bailed me out of everything, and he's always, you know, been there for me for everything. And um, I, there really, there are other people like that in this world. Like, go take your mom, go shopping with your mom, do whatever you want. Like, that's just so, you're, you know, even if you meet someone you fall in love with, nobody is that giving and that kind. And that's yeah. one thing I will say. You know what, though? Like, I don't think that is going to be that much of a challenge for you i mean you meet a guy and you're like hey this is my lifestyle like you like love me as is like you you take it or leave it you know what i mean like i don't Uh, know that let me tell you about that because i actually uh, dated a guy not that long ago trying to extort me um for money and trying to make me give up my lifestyle and i was just like uh uh-uh like you're not gonna do that you're not gonna do that like you know wait do you i meant to ask you do you work uh no, I actually just graduated school. Uh, I went back to school. See, um, this is doing it smart. She used the money. Did he pay for school or did you pay for school? See, if you're going to have a sugar daddy, at least, like, don't put your parents out to the point where they're, like, putting extra mortgages on their house. Like, if you're going to do it, do it right. Like, get an education from it. Use it to the better to better yourself. Like, just, you know, be smart about it. We're not telling you to, like, don't get a million Louis Vuitton bags. Do it to go back to school. Get your MBA. Something important to, like, or get a million Louis Vuitton bags. Oh, my yeah. God. Jessica's oh, hooked. Okay. Jessica's <laughs> fucking hooked, you guys. <laughs> so next week, Jessica's going to roll up as in, with a new face. And yeah. you're going to be like, what happened to her? Yeah. We're going to be like, sugar baby. When you when y'all see my new Instagram picture. Just comment sugar baby underneath because I'm going to have a whole new life. I can't. Fucking somebody send help. Send help. <laughs> Madison, Madison. So do you actually see yourself, like, do you want to work full time? Like, I mean, you don't have to do no, that right that's now. why she's not willing to give it up, bro. I wouldn't Yeah, either. but she's going back to school. Like, do you have, but like, a, I don't know. What'd you go to school for? Um, I work uh, as a nurse, actually. Well, I don't work right now, but that's what my degree is oh. for. So, it, you know what? God forbid it doesn't work. I ever need to go to work. Something happens. easily do that. Right, right, right. So even if, God forbid, it expires, you have a backup. It's This is like what all parents want for their kids is like, you know, in case that job falls through, have a backup. Like this is your job and you're doing it to like support yourself. I, I, I'm i proud of you for doing this. I mean, you're not you're having sex if you have to when you see him. But like you're really not like. I just feel like you're you're doing you're doing the best for your family. You're having your mom be involved with the fact that she's benefiting from it. Like it's a happy situation. Last question, then we'll let you go because we know you're you're going. We've out. kept her for I forty know, minutes now, but I've loved every second. I know, of me it. too. My last question: Just how often do you have sex with him? Let's say on a monthly basis. Once a year. <laughs> <I'm> fucking kidding <laughs> me! You're kidding me. How often are you physically with him? Once a year. <laughs> Madison is not an example. This is not how it goes. This she is, is an extracurricular <laughs> sugar baby. She hasn't figured the fuck out. She is Webster Dictionary, this shit. Do not <laughs> fucking base your life it's on It's like that. hitting the lottery. Yeah, you hit the fucking she lotto. She hit a sugar daddy lotto. Yeah, it's fine. Madison, I am, like, so proud of you. We are so thankful for you calling in. We just learned so much. I feel like I just got an MBA in sugar life. <laughs> sugar world. The sugar system. The sugar and system. I am just dead. I'm so happy for you. You're getting everything you want. You seem like the sweetest Madison, girl ever. We're going out. Me, you, and Trey, and you're paying. Because you know why? <laughs> Jessica wants a fucking sugar daddy. That's what she's like. Take me to rails, bitch. 
<laughs> yeah, you never know. If I meet any sugar daddies tonight at Rails, I'll uh, I'll keep them on hold. Yeah, send them Jessica's <laughs> way. She's all into it now. <laughs> Sorry, Denny. <laughs> yeah, no, that's awesome. I'm Madison, so like, you are so wow, fucking great. We appreciate honesty <laughs> on this show, and like you know, people that are willing to share their lives and tell their stories. And you fucking rock. Madison, thank you for calling in. We love you. You are living your best life. I now never, ever, ever get to use that slogan again. Um, (laughs) Tell your sugar daddy we said hello. And thank you. I will. I will. Thanks, guys. Thank you, love. Don't forget, guys, new clips air every Thursday. So see you next Thursday. Hosted on dimlywit.com. Even though we are not your best examples, uh, we're the best you've got. So cheers, bitches. Cheers. Make sure you subscribe to our channel for updates. And if you like this clip, share it with a friend. <laughs>